How delightful it is to find from lots of encyclopedia-alike definitions, from ones that tell nothing to you, just one definition that in a blink of an eye enlightens you, and you ask yourself, how come I haven't thought about it before? I'd like to share such definition of a super-objective. The super-objective is a person's life orientation in the given circumstances. This is their idea of happiness. Katzman, Tostanogov's co-instructor, claims it is also person's ultimate life goal. Forgive me, Georgi Alexandrovich, but they cannot have the super-objective of cheating. If the super-objective is a person's idea of happiness, the ultimate goal of a person's life, then cheating is not enough. I don't think it's true. Rather, agree here with Peter Brook, there can be several super-objectives through a play and, of course, life. Still, one of them is dominant in a selected piece of life called a play. Now it is discernible that Ikharev, with the help of Adelaide, decided to play someone. But how shallow it is! What is his idea of happiness? Ikharev decided to deceive humanity with the help of Adelaide. This is the role's super-objective. I find this definition extremely convenient and igniting for actors, saying, what is happiness to you as a character? 